Good morning, everybody. How are you? So I'm going to do a little project for my wife. Um, she wants me to put, she wants to hang this picture. And she wants me to put this on here. There's no way to put nails through this little piece of wood. So I'm going to epoxy this on the back. I've already used a Loctite epoxy. It didn't work or hold. And I don't like the epoxy setup. I'm not going to show you this project, but I just want to go over epoxies with you. Something that I found on this Loctite one. I just don't like the setup of it. Um, so I've got Gorilla Glue and Loctite. So the Gorilla Glue one and Loctite. I'm just going to open this package. I'll use this if, maybe if I'm going to do a whole project, but I just don't like the setup. So when you open it up, here's your setup. So you get two mixing tubes that screw on. You break this off on the end. Then you screw this on. You put it on and turn it. And then you push like a syringe to get the epoxy to come out. All right. So it's mixing in this little tube. The problem is when you're done, if you're doing a little project like I was doing with that, you have to remove this so all that epoxy that's in here is wasted because then you break this little tip off and put it right here so if you're doing small projects with this it's a waste because you only have two tubes that pre-mix it so you're going to go back to my little cup method anyways so unless you're going to do a whole project and you're wasting you want to waste a lot of epoxy these are horrible as far as i'm concerned but Oh well, the Gorilla Glue, I've been, I just go back to the Gorilla Glue all the time. You basically break this off and to um, close it up after you're done, you break this little tab off right here and that goes right over the top. And on that tab on here, there's a little groove so you know which way to put this on every time because there's a little groove in that cap. So you just break that cap off and put it in. And my best way of doing this is I just use these little Solo cups. I mix it in here. And if you haven't checked out my other video on the silicone brushes from Rockler, pick yourself up some of these. These things are great. Uh, once it dries, you can just break the epoxy off. And I made this little epoxy station in my other video. Basically, these little Solo cups go right in there and they snap in place. And it's good to go. I can just basically put it like that when I'm done. But I'm going to use this epoxy right now to do that little project. All right, guys, see you later. That's just a little quick epoxy. Getting stuff stuck together with it. All right, bye-bye. See you later.